Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, back here. Jim, don't see me. Only like, welcome back to Batman Arkham Asylum. And um, if you you might have noticed that things aren't exactly in the same place. Well, turns out when I quit the game for some reason, it didn't save after this fight for some reason. Really wish there was an auto save feature, but there's not. So anyway, so you know, in the last part we dealt with these two. We dealt with well, we saw Joker go through here. Um, uh, but we can't go through there for some reason. It, it doesn't state like, oh, it's locked. No, it's just, you know, hey, There's we can't. No way out through this elevator. Yeah. Shaft. I'll need to go back the way I came. But why is it that you can't access it? It's, you could just literally rip the doors open, Batman or something, but okay, never mind. But anyway, uh, in the last part we dealt with these two Titanfied, Titanified, Titan, um, uh, inmates that transformed into... These hulking behemoths ugh, still grosses me out the spine thing and the, uh, um, you know, green veins and stuff. Uh, after that, we dealt, we saw the Joker leave, and now we're going after Ivy. He is now going to follow her pheromone trail and try to figure out where she is. So we have to go and find her at least. So there's that little issue. But for now, we're going to have to deal with trying to get out of here. That's the main crux of what we're trying to do. We're trying to get out of here to find Ivy first. I'm going to need something to get over this ravine. Hmm. Call in the Batwing. Come on. There we go. Oh, Jesus. You'd think it'd be a little bit more safer than that, but no. Oh. Thank you, Batwing. But seriously, that was so close to impaling this guy through the, like, back or something. Let's see. Let's see what we have. And say hello to a new weapon, everyone, or a new thing. The Line Launcher allows rapid movement between two horizontal points. A range is 100 meters. Range traveled. And then lines. Strength, very much. I don't know, I just wanted to read that one just once. Just to see it. But yeah, now we have the Line Launcher, everyone. And so basically just allow us to, you know, go between two horizontal planes and now we have all of our uh, upgrades everyone now we don't need to get any more well we can buy upgrades for some of them but we don't really need them anymore basically what it, how it works is that it only works in a flat plane of land with two horizontal planes that means as long as there's a wall between me and you know uh, another wall between me and a flat surface I can do this and simply go across, uh, you know, those particular ranges that way. So, you know, it, it's pretty decent for what it's worth. I think there's a limit to how far you need to go, but eh, it, it's at least decent enough for, you know. Now I can go find Ivy. You know, for that type of, you know, long distance travel. So, you know, it works. It works for what it's worth. At least. They're all dead. Joker was busy while I fought his monsters. He'll pay for this. I was gonna ask, like, are these the same guys that are I just saved? What? Oh. Oh, I get it. There's, um... Uh... There's a couple of them around here somewhere. Hold up. Just in case I wanted to shut up. Oh. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. That's what happened. Allow this to be dead in anyone. Uh, 
Oh, I get it. Hmm. That's interesting. Now, I, I, I promised myself I'd get the next um, upgrade involving my armor. I promised that myself. But, yeah, real quick, um, I'm not sure why this is here exactly, other than just to, you know, signify Killer Moth. Um, real quick, I know of Killer Moth through um, one particular anime series, animated series uh, cartoon. Uh, the Teen Titans. I've seen Killer Moth in that one, and that's it, really. Not sure what else to say about him other than just, he's Killer Moth. He exists. Like, in all honesty, I, I honestly don't know what else to say. He's like, the thing about, like, Killer Moth is that I really didn't think about him much uh, when I first saw him in Teen Titans, uh, Teen Titans the anime. But, uh, looking on him now, especially more with context... I think he's a villain that's somewhat, you know, uh, somewhat, uh, what's the word? He's somewhat threatening in some regards, especially in Teen Titans a little bit, but he, I don't remember him much after that. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong, a lot of villains in, like, uh, a lot of these DC universes, or at least, uh, you know, the grunts of certain characters here and there, they can be uh, either very, very threatening or not very threatening. Or they can be seemingly, like, uh, like, you know, like, what's it called? What's it called? They could be very much, like, misleading. So, you know, I'm not saying, like, Killer Moth can't be threatening or isn't actually a good bad guy. I'm just saying, like... Uh, at first, I didn't really think much of him, and now, eh, still not by much, but I don't dislike him, so I mean, there's, there, there's that, at least. Okay. Okay, whoo! Oh, I, I need to go here, okay. I was I was kind of hoping that... I, I was just wanting to get those teeth real quick, just because. I forgot whether or not she was here or not, but I'm guessing she's here. Well, that was easy. Like, that was ridiculously easy, actually. I mean now, my poor darlings. Yes, I know he's found us, but I won't let him hurt you. I'll kill him first. Ivy, I know Dr. Young mutated these plants to produce venom. Yes, and I heard it through the grapevine the evil woman paid the price. <laughs> I need you to help me create an antidote. Why should I? Let Joker have his fun. I'll enjoy watching you squirm. <laughs> You've been in the dark too long. I'll step into death on this island will get the same unless you cooperate. Yeah, I'll step on every daffodil I can find. Growing deep in Arkham Island. Only it can counter the effects of this Titan strain. Where do I find it? How convenient. Oh, in Killer Croc's lair. Oh Christ. You didn't think it would be easy, did you? I did. Go back to your cell, or I'll be after you next. And I'll be waiting. Uh <laughs> I have mixed emotions about her. I need to find a way into Killer Croc's lair. It's somewhere below Arkham Island. There's nothing in the system about where he's kept. I found a door near the Batgate, but it's shut tight. There's got to be another way in. I left guard cash in the mansion. I'll see if he can shed some light on where Croc's kept. Also, also Oracle, uh show me to the nearest daisy patch. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, I need to go back to the mansion and talk to Cash. Oh, th this is definitely, like, the easiest, most simplest thing I've ever done so, uh, so far. Like, there's no way anything will happen that'll make this whole situation go belly up. No way. No way. Yeah, go back and play with that fish for a few more hours. If 
It's a line launcher. You want some of this? And Arr! wrist breaking. Grabbing his crotch. Uh, can you imagine if, like, the guy that, like, I just threw downward and just, like, went over there, uh, fell into the hole? <laughs> that would definitely put Batman at a weird, uh, like, oh, hey, he actually killed him, sort of thing. Uh, don't worry, brother. I'm gonna save you. <laughs> like, look at this guy. This looks so weird in this position. Uh, this guy definitely, I, I do like this position, uh, like this looks, this looks like the guy who got knocked out, like very, very much like in a boxing match. It's like, bam, bam. Okay, let's see, anything else? Uh, I don't think anyone else is here. Let's see. Oh, you're definitely in an uncomfortable position, my friend. Eh, this guy got knocked out normally. Okay, anything else? Uh, hold up. There's something here, apparently. Huh, I want. Oh, well, I think I might know. There we go. It, it's weirdly enough that, you know, the mad dog character guy, whatever his name is. Well, you know what I mean. Like, the character who uh, killed Armadeus Arkham's family and became. and made him drove crazy and they d dedicated something to him. Uh, you'd think there'd be, you know, something else to that. Like, maybe they'd, uh, you know, they'd at least, like, I don't know, give a profile of the character. Uh, I'm guessing he wasn't in the thing, in anything really long enough for it to matter, I guess. Ah, uh, no, it feels like that's the case. I could be wrong. And yes, I'm going back this way to get some little goodies here and there. I'm sure something's gonna happen. That'll make me uh, do something else anyway. You may be wondering, what, what am I talking about? Uh, you'll see. You'll very much see. First. Okay, I think I know how to get up there. First, I need to get up there. So, uh... Give me a minute while I get this stuff real quick. I'll, I'll skip ahead. Okay, and... Uh, perfect. Gotcha. Spring was a turning point. Okay, real quick. Uh, to explain this, um, uh, how I did this, um, basically, uh, you, rem you remember when I was up there in one of the last episodes to do the question mark thing that was right up there. Yeah, all I had to do was run from there and jump up there. Uh, there's also a breakable wall over there, but I need another upgrade for my bat claw, and I can't buy it through the upgrade station. It's a mandatory upgrade. And people will say, well, now you're done with the... I thought you said we were done with the upgrade. No, I meant... Uh, what I meant to say was that I was done getting new equipment story-wise. I still need to get upgrades through some of the story stuff. But I will admit, I, I I do need, like, what do you call it? I don't really need any more. That that almost scared me, but then I was stupid. and Well, it was, it was more like I, I was busy talking enough that none of my emotions kicked in at that moment. And it, it didn't surprise me. I was like, well, what the? 
Oh, okay. Okay, can I can I finish my story, sir? I was almost frustrated there for a second. I was like, can you let me finish, sir? Thank you. Uh, go f yourself. I don't know why I, I, I'm having that particular voice while I was Batman. I should be gravelly and st gravelly and sound like as if I'm smoking ten cigarettes or something. But anyway, yeah. So, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. So, I uh, so I, I'm done getting new equipment. As you can see, my whole uh, arsenal's upgraded as far as I can get. So for now, I'm done. But what I need to do is get an upgrade for the Bat Claw, which will be given through story progression. Uh, I can't get it through, you know, purchasing it like other upgrades. So there, there, that's 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 one of the reasons why. Um, other than that, uh, nothing much other than to say, uh, nothing much else to say really. Other than just, I need to get the upgrade, so I need to wait a while. So I, I just want to point that out. Uh, so I can't get certain things still, like, you know, uh, things behind breakable walls that are far, far distance away. I can't get to them because, well, I just can't, I guess. I don't know. It's, they're specific. It's because I can't reach them, so, you know, th there's that issue. Uh, is this place still blocked off? Yeah, it still is. Gonna have to go the long way around then. Well, not long, long way. I'm pretty sure there is another way to get through, right? Well, through this door, I think, right? Okay, I want to make sure. Double checking. Oh, wait, no. This leads into the botanical garden thing. Uh, okay, where am I going exactly? Okay. I can't go through here because it's blocked off, like I said before. Uh... My only real way of going in is through the air duct and then through here. Okay, maybe okay, maybe I had to go through here actually. Because I could have sworn after this, uh that place opened up. Opened up, or at least I assumed. Oh wait, I think I remember why, but it happens later. Uh remember when I said like, oh yeah, let's leave Ivy behind because there's definitely nothing will happen because you know, uh, you know our mission is just go find Killer Croc. Croc that seems completely simple. Like this will shorten the runtime very much because it's like nothing at all like extreme will ever happen, right? Nothing that will hinder us in any way possible. No sir, not not in the slightest. There is absolutely nothing that Joker, Ivy, or maybe Killer Croc can do that will impede my progress here. Nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. Come on, pull him in, Batman. It's just electrical water. Okay, fine. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Right here. Come on. Right in the dick. What killed these guys? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing Joker killed them. Hmm. Or gunfire from the guards. Okay, I can see that. But yeah, the flickering lights of these, uh, this whole thing, like these whole uh, water signified electrical power adage. So, I don't think we can actually go back and turn it off. I don't think we can. Go 
Well, you have one way out of this. Okay, so that's what it does. It basically makes sure the suicide collars don't go off. Okay, we'll That's a really long, uh, what do you call it? Charge time, so. Trying to figure out where what I should do here. Hmm. And that. Don't be scared, boy. He's just like you and me. Just crazier. I mean, if anyone deserves to be locked up, it's him. Joker wants you stopped. I'm gonna do it. Batman, he's here! You're the one who went, like, literally ran away from me before I could do anything. Yeah, that wasn't too graceful, but literally it was one of the few ones to take one of them out. Well, no, duh. There we go. Right the head through the wall. Oh, um You okay, man? Game of the year, everyone. <laughs> By the way, I do want to mention, I am playing on the Game of the Year edition version of this game. That was, that's released on PC. And... I have no idea whether or not to end the episode off on this or not. It's just like, should I? Are you, okay, are you starting to calm down? Calm down? I'm trying to help this guy, but I don't know whether or not I can or not. No, oh, okay. Maybe if I come in and out of the room, maybe he'll be fixed. 
Hold that. Maybe I'll end it off the episode after this. Remember when I said there was nothing that'll happen that'll, you know, hinder us from getting to Killer Croc's lair? Well, they say hindsight's twenty twenty, but, you know, knowing what's going to happen makes you psychic. <laughs> I don't know whether or not that's actually true or not, but I definitely know what's going to happen next. Well, go ahead. Tell me what you're going to do, Joker, because I definitely want to know. Oh, something's coming. Trust me, something is coming. You'll get it. You'll you'll certainly get what what you're asking for, Joker. Uh, in all honesty, when he said he injected her with Titan, I expected him her to transform into, you know, a giant monstrosity sort of thing, like maybe a big, like big, big type of. Like, you know, buff version of Ivy or something. Mm, this is less than optimal, though. Like, this is literally, like, a very bad situation here. Because now we have to deal with Titan Ivy and her plants. And no, they don't just exist now inside this, like, area. Like, inside the botanical garden that we have to deal with later. Oh, Christ. It's, it's flowing with Titan. No, no, no. That's not the issue. Okay, I'll leave it off after this because I just want to show it. This is the result of, of Ivy's titanification. Titan a different effect on Ivy. Her plants are growing. They'll soon be out of control. Yeah, and now we're dealing with Jack and the Beanstalk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Looks like the plants are mutating further. Oh, Jesus. That pod appears to contain similar spores to the ones Ivy used to attack Gotham last year. They're deadly. Yeah, you think? So, yeah, now we have to deal with Ivy's plants. Thanks, Joker. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all next time in the next video. I'm going to stop it here and just continue on with the next one. Uh, you know, after this one. So I'll see you all next time for the next video. Until then, sign on, robots. Take care.